Hey guys, welcome back to another week of performance review where I go over the highlights, the lows and the highs of performance for YouTube videos, explain to you the logic of why it's doing well, why it's doing bad, are we dropping a show, are we not, and so on and so forth. First off, it's kind of sad that um, Power of God's performing this bad. It's funny that like a video like this, where we're watching such a low effort content and it truly goes to show that effort has nothing to do with, you know, um, how much a video gets attention. It's because we could just spend, you know, some time watching a stupid meme compilation and no offense to, you know, Anime Vega making these, but a lot of these are just stupid memes. I'm sure he would agree that we're just having fun with compared to, let's say, Tower of God, where we just put so much effort into it and it gets no viewership. Why is Tower of God doing this bad? Well, it's very simple. It's because people have given up on the show a long time ago. It has enough time passed, let's check it out. And the amount of likes getting it, it, it it's, it's just so sad that like, let's say even like Enryu, the mention of Enryu gets brought up, but no one cares. The viewership is so dead. I would like to, you know, it, it's also really bad when you have a split like this and the viewership is this low because it means that literally no one cares. Even for my audience, nobody cares about this. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you if you've seen what's Tower of God been like leading up to the workshop battle, even if there seems to be a glimmer of hope of, you know, things doing well, it's not going to be well received. So I'm not sure that we're going to drop Tower of God, but you know, it's just, it's just kind of sad. Let's see. Blue Lock. Blue Lock is actually popping off. Blue Lock is absolutely popping off. Let's check out the Nagi episode. God damn, bro. And here's another situation, right? Both Blue Lock and Tower of God has been quote unquote butchered by corporate greed of production committees forcing down impossible schedules down animators' throats. Yet, why is this happening, right? Why is this happening? Why is the music not playing either? Here it is. Well, it's because Blue Lock, the essence of the story is still better. It's a lot more easier to understand and more hype than Tower of God. The story absolutely carries. I know that Tower of God has a very comprehensive story, but in terms of appealing to like the casual audience of hype and entertainment, it makes sense that Blue Lock would do this well. And this episode wasn't even poorly animated compared to the previous episodes. It's obviously not the best. It can do way better. But if we compare this episode compared to the shitty episodes from before, it's doing a lot better relatively, and it kind of creates the hype. Let's look at the audience coming in. Most of the people are obviously, yeah, 70-30 split. So Blue Lock is a show that my audience doesn't really give a fuck about, but there's a lot of tourists coming in that does enjoy the content, which is very nice. If we look at the revenue, 290 RPM, not bad, not bad, but it's good to see that, you know, even like a memed on show that everyone's saying it's over, oh my god, it's so done, can still perform like this compared to Tower of God where that one's actually done. Next up, these are obviously all just community series that's doing decent enough, right? You know, we have like an average weekly seasonal, we have just, you know, average community series that's gonna be hitting around the 3k view mark by hopefully after a week, right? Same with these community series, this is kind of the baseline. This is what I define as like the floor, right? You see how stable and consistent every one of these videos are? It's because my audience resonates with that so much because they voted it in. So you don't have to worry about viewerships like this, right? Um, Dandadan, oh, we are basically farming a lot of extra Dandadan content, right? These two videos, pretty fun. Let's check it out. So. I've realized that limiting myself to simply anime reactions is doing me a disservice and the potential for me to farm even greater content exists in the form of reading and roasting comments. <laughs> Let's look at this. So all I did was just read one fucking comment. That's all I did. The whole video was me reading one comment and breaking down about how stupid that comment is and then the rest of it is just reading me reading the rest of the comment section, right? Yet, look at the engagement. Look at the amount of subs coming in. Isn't that crazy? Like, these people have finally just they're, just, they're just finding my channel. And if you look at the title, the title is very wide appealing. Dandadan was not worth crying over. What does this take? The point of this video, obviously, is that episode 7 popped off. And yes, there's a stupid monkey comment that we can make fun of. But at the same time, it's a hot trending topic. I can create, I can use the 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 fan of con the flames of controversy and you know sift it to my side and this is the result 
not bad at all. 14 new subs from it. Hopefully they enjoy my other content. You know, 186 RPM is very low and sad. But if you look at the engagement, you know, not obviously everyone watched the initial part and kind of left out by the end. So it makes a lot of sense. But even performance videos like this where it, it doesn't have the full engagement throughout, it still can create watch time, revenue, subs, and so on. A trending topic that I took advantage of and created fun content with is the result of this. And the comment section, you know, it's just a bunch of people also expressing their frustration because obviously what gets magnified is stupid comments but sometimes people want to actually have their opinions you know be validated that's on the more like popular narrative side to just dunk on the comment i don't really care about taking sides i'm just an opportunist next up let's see more community series community series right very stable very stable very stable sakamoto days also did really well right 3k views for this trailer was really nice even like this one the 2.4k for the villainous one truly goes to show like that this kind of shows definitely resonates with my audience and if i click on the performance of these trailers actually let's click on this one and sakamoto days as well how well did they do sakamoto days got 259 likes which is really high for let's say a trailer reaction where you would think a bunch of tourists are coming in this means that most of my audience is actually watching this shit and if we look at the villainous one it's nearly there right we're always looking for like a 10 percent roughly 10 i think that if you have a 10 percent view to like ratio you're doing pretty well with your audience if it's getting a lot lesser likes like let's say five percent roughly that means the video is scaling and you know appealing to a wider audience that's new to your channel just like the asman gold video that i'll show you later on but things are doing looking pretty good so right over here right things are good look at look at the audience tab mostly just returning viewers but 50-50 split, as I expected. My community, not tourists. Let's look it over here. Audience tab. Pretty much the same. All of my community. So it's nice to see that shows like this is appealing to my current community. And I don't have to just rely on just shitty isekais to build up my audience. Our audience is definitely evolving beyond just one simple, you know, kumer, you know, harem or isekai genre. Both trailers did well, as expected. Now... Let's look at Dandaran episode 7. Here we go. Episode 7. Oh, also. This video, I did a little bit of A-B testing for the thumbnails again. What is the thumbnails um, A-B testing? Just showing like, you know, which one is going to do better. So, I thought that thumbnail 2 would do better than thumbnail 1. Because it's like a cool guy, you know, with the shading like this. Compared to thumbnail 1, which is, you know, the um, fat old man. But, look, look at that. Roughly 5% more, you know, uh, watch time. So, looking like that thumbnail just is better for that one. Now, let's look at Dan Dan. 1,015 likes, 16 dislikes. I think that's pretty decent. And if you look again at the viewership to like ratio, 10%, right? 10%. We're doing a good job. These are mostly my audience and not tourists coming in. Let's look at this shit. So the graph is pretty normal, right? There's no sudden spike anywhere. It's just the trajectory is pretty normal, but at a greater scale because obviously this is the highlight of Dan Dan right now. And of course, you know, these are the moments that I probably just crying my ass out. These are the really, you know, emotional, impactful moments. Let's look at the reach. Obviously, most of it is through browse features. Remember, you don't need YouTube search engine. You need the recommendation systems to keep going. What the fuck is this? I have no clue. Some sketchy ass external sites or apps. I got no clue what's going on here. And look at that, bro. Look at the search terms. Down that on episode 7 reaction? Nah. My name. My name is what people look for rather than Down that on episode 7 reaction because that's my community. We do have an influx of new people coming in. We do have an influx of new people coming in, but not that high. But definitely, this is significant. The ratio is 62.5 to 37.5, yet the like ratio is so good, right? So what does this mean? It means that this video was so emotionally impactful and engaging that even tourists are relating to the content and showing me support as if they would a community member. That's pretty good. That's amazing. Look at the, you know, the split here. And look at the revenue. Not bad, $3. Also, a little bit of uh, ego check. I found this really funny. Where is this? Uh, 
this is just random re-zero bullshit. Uh, ah, this one. A random Japanese tweet. What did it say? Baba, Baba, stop. Basically in the video, Neko Baba was wilding out during the most emotional moment. And I was like, please, now is not the fucking time, Baba. And this is looking like it's the first time I felt so close to this person, right? So, what does that mean? Looking like my reactions are really relatable. I am basically the voice of your own private reactions. You're finding a dude that's expressing your own feelings. How affirming, how, you know, validated you must feel that random dude just watching anime on YouTube is saying the shit that's on your mind. At the end of the day, that's the essence of content creation and, you know, creating a community and appealing to an audience where they are resonating with the things you're saying. So, down to down, perfect. I want to say that I earned this, but I can't just pull this out of thin air. When I say earn, I mean, am I getting carried by the trends by a bunch of tourists or am I earning it through my core community? Obviously, this is trending. Of course, this is trending. But based on the audience split, the amount of like ratio there is, it, I want to say that this is definitely a hybrid of a trend, but not completely getting carried by a trend, but still earning it, if you know what I'm trying to say. Sometimes, like, I can just, like, when we just pull shows and we just watch whatever you guys want to watch and we perform well with that, I'm earning that. This is something I can't control, where out of nowhere, an unprecedented episode just shows up. And, and, you know, I guess I was able to execute upon the opportunity. Alright, next up, you know, just weekly shows, a weekly show is very stable, very stable, right, within the 2 to 3k range. Let's give it like a week to, you know, kind of cook, stuff like that. Very stable, very stable. Let's look at the uh, ReZero episode now, right? ReZero episode 7, I thought that ReZero was going to be the highlight of, you know, this coming uh, week but it's actually done to done re-zero while it was a very impactful episode was not able to capture the hearts and the attentions compared to done to done as closely right obviously you can tell a difference in viewership it's not that much but still it, it it is a bit right let's look at this uh we do have the a b testing for the thumbnails and it's looking like the light novel art cover people didn't resonate as much with it compared to the anime cover because the anime picture I thought was a bit too saturated and orange and dark I thought a much more brighter color using the light novel cover picture would do well but look at the difference of watch time based on that right let's look at the audience um obviously it's just my existing audience you can tell that this is something I totally earned because obviously we're an isekai channel quite a, a predominantly and people have been expecting reserve content for me so it's okay did really well right let's look at the revenue revenue is very high because this is like my core audience watching a long video right this is like an hour long fucking video so it makes sense why it would you know be a higher rpm compared to other ones and the reason episode 7 it was fantastic it's just that i was caught off guard by how many more people give a fuck about dan dan than rezero but it doesn't mean that dan dan is better than rezero or that rezero is like worse than dan dan it's just about understanding you know statistics and trends, right? What do you think is going to do better? A show that's in its third season of something that's already a niche genre of isekai, right? The more seasons you have, the more audience that you naturally filter out, right? Just makes sense. And not only that, you have Dan Dan, which is such a wide appealing show, right? Supernatural, crazy, slice of life, action, battle. Anyone can watch it. And then it's only season one, right? So you get to already see the difference in like the audience base that they're working with. And it, it only makes sense that Dan Dan da would do better than ReZero in terms of performance engagements in my channel specifically. Doesn't mean one is better than the other. It just means think about the facts about these different shows airing right now and how the average person can relate to it or watch it, right? Next up, this video. Y'all thought that Dan 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 or ReZero was the main highlight? <laughs> no. It's actually the Asmongold video. And this is a blessing and a curse. And this is the exact same thing that I mentioned before, where I told you guys that... Virality can kill your channel. Now, 
look at this, right? We have 785 likes on a 25,000 viewed video. If we apply the split of 10%, as in it should be 10% if you're making good videos for your audience, right? It doesn't really follow. Why? Because so many new tourists are coming in off this video because it's so wide appealing. The purpose of this video was just to kind of fuck around. Just messing around. Look at the title. Korean Asmongold can't believe Asmongold's opinion on Johnny Somali's 29-year-old prison sentence, right? Think about that. Everyone knows who Asmongold is and everyone is very upset at, you know, Johnny Somali shit. And it also happened in Korea. And if I, as a Korean person, make this kind of thing where my commentary and opinion is also very aligned with Asmongold's audience, I thought that I could make a very wide appealing video that could target his audience. And I was right. Look at the difference here, right? You may not see it, but notice how in the beginning it was ready to just kind of go like this. And it most likely could have just tapered off. But there was a difference point here, a breaking point, where YouTube decided to lift the floodgates and just expose my my video to a bigger audience. And a 49 minute video was able to get, you know, $100 of revenue, which is great, right? And if you look at the revenue, 453, that's an amazing RPM. I got 170 new subs almost. The watch time was fucking killing it. By any metric, this is so high performing that I should be happy about it, right? I should be so happy. If you're new to this, you might be happy. But to me, it's like, ah shit, what did I do? Because the likelihood of all these new people coming in, and look at that. Have you ever seen the blue line be higher than the purple line by this much of a margin before? No, usually the blue line is just flat lined because we're always making anime reactions around the same categories. And until there is a new floodgate opening, remember these videos I make about the Zenkai boost at every three month intervals, the algorithm will, you know, kind of lift the floodgates and what will happen? We get an exposure to a new audience, right? That's a great thing and all, but if these people come in and they don't watch the anime reactions, you can kill your channel because that's a new audience coming in. Every video you make, these new people don't click onto it. You kind of fuck up exactly dead subs. Now, what I could keep doing is keep making these Korean Asmongold reaction videos where we find a topic that may be interesting to us and we can kind of farm this specific audience. But do I want to invest in that? Not really. This is just a one-off video where I made for fun. But remember, like doing this shit, just chasing virality in numbers, that's not good. Like the only thing that matters is like not the sub count. This 25k sub count almost does not matter. What I care is about the amount of audiences that I'm converting into community members. If you've seen the diagrams that I've made where, you know, in the beginning, there are a bunch of new people, tourists, eventually you convert them to community members and so on, that'd be great. If you look at the comments too, it's really nice, right? Uh, not this one, but like stuff like this. Stumbled across you and got you, uh, got curious with Asmongold reacts to, Korean Asmongold reacts to Asmongold, right? Title tuned in. Damn, your thoughts are based as fuck, so. I lost the clickbait, I feel called out. You're not alone. And it's funny, he called out into a way bigger stream and demanding he needs more views, right? Obviously everything here, right? Great, you sub. And before I saw this as a content, very effective, great. But like, I hope that these many people are actually weebs that watch anime reactions. Cause if I keep investing into these series and they pop off and it might be good at a first glance, it could override the main core audience that I have. And once you have an audience that's fragmented, it's really harder to grow with the YouTube recommendation system, right? If you only make content, if you only make content about one thing, it's so easy to scale, right? It's so easy to scale. That's all you gotta do. Just keep making the videos on the one specific topic that people came for and your average viewership can be way higher. But the other con of that, right? The problem with this method is that you are no longer able to scale with volume, right? And here's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. They think average viewership is everything. You don't understand that people get high views, but they can't make more videos because they're out of content. The goal of my channel is to be able to focus on volume, to be able to farm so many different topics that the average viewership will be lower, but overall channel monthly views will be higher. 
right? In these channels, I can cover whatever I want without feeling suffocated or limited by, you know, the restrictions that I put on. The restrictions on this channel is that it's only Beyblade. I can't just, you know, go watch other Beyblade videos or do commentary on that, right? Even a video like this, which I'm kind of going over, you know, talking about the analytics, will probably not do as well because people only want these kind of reactions. That's totally fine. So you have to understand the pros and cons that average viewership, while it is important, if you can't make like eight videos a day on this specific video and hit 5.6K or like 8K, right? 7K, then what the fuck is that, right? A lot of people have this wrong notion that average viewership is everything, but they don't realize that they're, they can't, they simply can't work, make more videos getting that average viewership because they're locked in to that specific trend or topic. The goal of this channel is to never be locked in. It's that we're covering so many different topics around my own commentary and personality that it's just going to be this long, sustainable living creature that's based on my personality and commentary rather than a specific show that people are watching like Beyblade. So a little bit of logic there. What else is there? Um, so the Asmund Gold video, yep, they're really amazing. Um, the drama video is not much to really talk about. It's, it's, just, it's just random bullshit. It's, it's, it's just honestly stupid. Is there anything more unique that I want to check out? These are all pretty average, right? After a week in, around two to three K views is like the floor of average viewership, right? Sometimes you'll have a topic like this that does really well out of nowhere. And here's another here's another thing, right? Look at the video title here. Shit, let me go back. Because I'm sure a lot of people clicked onto the video, not just because they were expecting, you know, the video to be, you know, this episode of Latifa showing up, but think about this. Who do you think, what kind of title do you think is going to be more appealing? Spirit Chronicles Episode 6 Reaction or This Girl Got Isekai as a Slave. A lot of people still don't really understand why I make video titles that doesn't list the anime episode and title. That's very intentional. Like, if you think it's so simple to just list episode, title, and name and just get views, of course I'd be doing it. That's the easiest and the most simplest thing to assume. But there is an idea behind it, and it's that you want to click, you want to make videos that's wide appealing to a wider audience. If the video wasn't titled this and was some generic stuff like, you know, this anime episode plus title reaction, and I could have just still added that, appended it at the end of this, I feel a lot of people, because they see the anime title or they see that there's multiple episodes in, they don't want to click on it. But the more you make enticing, clickable titles and thumbnails that's wide appealing, they may click on to watch for a bit and realize, hey, maybe I want to check out the rest of the videos, right? That's the thought process in this stuff. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> more drama videos. This is actually crazy. So, Apothecary Diaries? So this is a decent litmus test. Look at how many likes there are. 501 likes. Almost 5,000 views. What does that tell me? That tells me that Apothecary Diaries will succeed no matter what. I don't even have to be worried about it anymore. About a year ago, we tried to cover this content, but it did really bad. Because back then, my channel wasn't even like 10k subs. My channel was like pretty low and was still growing when Apothecary Diaries was happening, right? I think we had like less than 5,000. And back then, the audience that we have now didn't exist, and I wasn't able to farm shows like Frieden. Or, let's see, um, uh, Dungeon Meshi, Apothecary Diaries, because it was not a topic that my current audience of, I guess, only data live enjoyers liked. If we look at the audience tab here, all sub, 60-40 split. This gives me confidence that you guys care about Apothecary Diaries and you want it really badly, right? So... Just very confident. I'm very confident that Apothecary Diaries will do well, and we're going to be starting Apothecary Diaries like very, very soon. As soon as Spirit Chronicles is caught up, which is just a couple, you know, episodes in. Uh, sorry, we only have a couple episodes left. Is there anything else that's really popping off? Um, I'll check out the Gigguk video to end it. Here's a wide appealing video, the Gigguk video, right? This was published on November 10th, so it's been 10 days. Notice the split here, though, of the likes to ratio. See, it's 5% now, roughly, right? Again, when it's when the like ratio is dropping to like 5%, but the viewership is high, means that wide appealing video, tourist. I bet a lot of new people are watching the video too because it's a gig of content. Just makes sense. Got new subs, made some money, great. Let's look at the audience tab, and yeah, look at that. A little bit of an influx of new people coming in. 
60-40 sub split makes a lot of sense to me. I don't think everyone watches the entire video per se. Oh, they do actually. That's pretty impressive that an hour long video and it doesn't just, you know, go down like this usually with these commentary videos. But that's pretty cool to see. And that's pretty much it. This, you know, I think the main lesson again is just to kind of carry over this concept of what kind of videos are you making? Are you making a video for your core audience? Are you trying to reach out to a wider audience? If a video that you're trying to reach out to a wider audience does pop off, what are you going to do with that audience? And I'm not sure if I can find this guy right now. Hold on. Let me see if I can find this guy in the recommendations because he's been showing up on my um, channel a lot. And maybe uh, one of you guys can reach out to him and explain what's going on. But uh, hold on. ReZero. Opening reaction. No, not you, not you, not you, not you. Not you guys. Nope, nope. This guy. This guy is really fucking himself over right now. Because he hit gold with ReZero opening and endings. 15k views 12 days ago. This is a brand new channel. The algorithm has decided that you are going to be getting ReZero audiences. And guess what he did? He continues to make other opening reactions to kind of test the waters. But now look at this. Six views. 22 views, 18 views, and I'm not making fun of his viewership. This is a small channel, but I'm saying he could be doing so much better, averaging like thousand plus views if he only made re-zero content. It's the same shit with this. You know why this channel is getting so many, you know, views right now? Look at this shit. In the beginning, I did try to do Hasman Hotel. None of this shit mattered. Hell of a boss. No growth. Just fucking around, fucking around, right? What changes? Try to do Gravity Falls. Nothing changes. What happened? Boom, Beyblade opening 31k views, and guess what I did? Only Beyblade. Look at the average viewership that changed. 5k. 500 for Gravity Falls. And I decided, you know what? We have to drop Gravity Falls. This is stupid. We need to focus only on Beyblade. I made a video explaining it, saying, oh shit, guys. We hit the algo. Things are good. And then I only made Beyblade videos. This guy needs to only make ReZero videos if he wants to succeed on YouTube with the audience he's been given. But the more he farms random trends, thinking that trends are the only way to get an audience because his channel is small, it's just so sad to see someone that has a like potential to grow after this video. Yeah, he's throwing it away because he's unaware. He thinks that the only way to get views is trends. His thumbnails are good. Yes, the thumbnails are way better than mine, but thumbnails don't matter. The only thing that matters is understanding who your audience is and giving them that content. The thumbnail just needs to be passable. But if the thumbnails are the only thing that matters, do you think, you know, his viewership would be this low relative to this? He needs to only do ReZero content. And if he doesn't, then it's going to be so hard to really form a community because you're just going to be making so many random videos, making topics that people watching Arcane don't care about Bleach. People watching Bleach don't care about Full Metal Alchemist. People watching FMA don't care about Dragon Ball. People that watching this doesn't care about Dan Dan. It's a revolving door of tourists coming in and out. And so many reaction channels get stuck in this ELO hell because they cannot unite a community after hitting some luck with these kind of videos. But that's pretty much it for me. See you next time.